Hey guys, this is David with Commotion Engine, just with a quick video on how to collect files with After Effects. And let me explain this really quick. So when you're building a project in After Effects, you know, you're importing, um, you might import images, you might be importing audio, you've got artwork you're animating, you've got all kinds of things that you're doing. And these files are maybe scattered around on your hard drive. And then someone says, hey, I want a copy of your project. Well, you know, you need a simple way of getting your entire project, all of the assets in it, into a single folder so that you can compress that folder and send it to them on Dropbox or on email or whatever uh, format you want. So I'm just going to show you really quick how to do that. Um, so I'm going to go into After Effects. This is uh, After Effects uh, CC, so the um, place of this command may be in a little bit of a different spot, but I'll explain that. So we've got this you know, got this project, it's been animated, and you can see I've got, I've organized it in the project window. I've got artwork, audio, and pre-comps, and you know, all the different assets have been organized over here. And um, so this is basically ready to go. Now, before I do this command, what I like to do is I like to reduce the project down, and what that means is you're going to select the composition that has everything in it. So this is like the top level composition. Then what you would do is you do file uh, dependencies and then click reduce project. Now if you're using an older version of After Effects the reduce project command will actually be in the main area here. It won't be inside of the dependencies uh, category. But anyway so you click reduce project and I've already actually done that so it says all project files um, are being used directly or indirectly so nothing was deleted but if you have a project where you have a bunch of unnecessary compositions that you don't use or assets you never use it'll get rid of all of that and that's that's important for just keeping the file size down so when that's done you'll, you'll need to save the project so now we're ready to reduce or to collect the files and get it all put together so once again it's in the dependencies window and then you have the collect files command now if you have an older version of After Effects once again it'll probably be in this main area but for After Effects CC we have collect files here so you click collect files and this command comes up and it just asks you what files do you want to collect I always do all I mean once you've uh, you've organized the project you should be good to go you really shouldn't have to change anything here so then you'll come down here and you'll select collect and then it'll ask you where do you want to send it so I'm just going to send it to the desktop here and click save and boom 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 it sends it to the desktop it opened the folder up for me I'm going to close it now I'm actually looking at the project a copy of the project so if I minimize After Effects and go to my desktop here I have the folder it's been given this name and if I go in here you'll see I have a, a footage folder a project file and I have a report. Now basically this folder contains everything needed to reconstruct the project. So if I open up the footage folder, what's interesting is you'll see that artwork and audio, that actually resembles what it looked like, the folders in my project panel. So if I open up my project panel, you'll see artwork and audio um, it's actually copied the names of those. The reason it didn't copy pre-comps is because pre-comps are stored inside of the project file. They're not actually assets. But anything with, a, um, with an asset in it is going to be um, pulled into those two folders. And so, you know, we have like we have our audio file right here. So if I, if I look into the project folder, um, then we've got our audio file there. So anyway, this is everything you need to reconstruct it. So you can take this folder, you can zip it, and you can email it to someone. And uh, anyway, that, that's all you need to, to move it very easily over Dropbox or something like that. So 